The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growl problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 167, Nasdaq's up 108, S&Ps are up 20, gold contract down $13.90 trading at $13.32 an ounce. We have silver down 29 cents, $14.74 an ounce, light sweet crude flat. $53.89 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note down uh, 13 ticks, 126.26. 30-year off a of full point, 153.18. King dollar. King dollar up uh, 390 ticks, trading 96.880. You get the euro at 112. The yen is at 108 and a half, and the pound is at 126, trading against one U.S. dollar. And uh, bottom line is that uh, we got a little green out here. We sure do. Um, we go take a look at the. Uh, gold contract first. What you're going to see out here, folks, is that, uh, you know, you, bottom line, you get a pullback. Um, it's going to be interesting to see if, in fact, it's going to end up being lighter volume. I suspect it is. Now, this is big volume. We're at 155,000 contracts. That being said, we were at 138,000 contracts almost uh, two hours ago. Uh, so you're coming into 363,000. We hit a low today of 13.29, and we'll see. It looks to me, I, I think that's going to be the low for the day. Uh, we'll see how that shakes out, though. You, you, you come down there a couple times. Uh, dollar index, we go take a look at that dollar index, and what you're going to see inside the dollar index is that you get a bounce going, get 15,000 contracts. We'll see, you know, how that baby shakes out. But what we did do last week is we came down on, on good volume all week long. Yep. We hit a low, uh, let's say, 29,000 contracts. And that's the first time we did that in a long period of time, no doubt. Um, we'll see uh, how this, uh, yeah, the, the NDX, uh, no, no doubt. Let's go take a look at that because uh, you mentioned that to me, Tom, when I just walked in the studio. Yeah, the, I was the, getting ready for the update, just kind of going over stocks. And I was right. like, whoa, what's, what's I mean, right. he, he gets Apple's the, up three bucks by itself. Go ahead. You yeah. get some big numbers, yeah. Uh, ADI, um, analog devices is up uh, 6%. You got... Uh, Oh, Kraft Heinz. Well, that's a dog. Ketchup back in the yeah. Yeah, back in the mix. That's up five and a half percent. You Maybe get they wind resorts, or is that a Mexico tariff deal? I don't know. What? Something. Kraft. Right? Kraft. I mean, I don't know. It is just yeah. to be up six percent. Uh, I mean, that's a move for for. I mean, I know they've been in trouble, it but is. something. Uh, Maybe it's a tariff scenario. Uh, okay, he jumps after completing accounting investigation. Nice. Yeah. I wonder if they said what, what, what happened with the accounting investigation. Yeah, so the company said it completed the accounting uh, the accounting investigation and changed its financial practices. Don't worry, we've rectified everything. Exactly, <laughs> everything's going to be fine. Uh, moves disclosed in a delayed filing to regulators. Um, so the, this is the SEC, I guess, on Friday. Kraft Heinz said it concluded its internal investigation into accounting irregularities in its uh, procurement, bless you, and it made only minor revisions to its annual earnings numbers based on the findings. Well, I guess the, the real crux there probably is that um, the revisions to their numbers were just minor, so maybe the market wasn't quite sure what they were going to have to come out and revise. And just um, so you know what minor is to them, folks, is $210 million. <laughs> Yeah, what's the, what's the, go into the description for that, because uh, that, that might be minor in, in all grand schemes when you're talking about a $37 billion company, so, right? Yeah. No, I'm just the 20, value of the company is thirty seven billion. Twenty five billion they take in. It's only thirty seven billion if they gotta give up two hundred million and, and that's out of the way. I guess the market's excited. Yeah, let's take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. Excuse me, folks. You get uh, advanced micro up a dollar. Uh oh my god. Beyond meat, we get a pull this. I know, I this you know I meant to sick. mention that as well. Oh my god. Okay. This is <laughs> Oh, I can't even imagine. Beyond Meat, folks, is up $43. This is the ultimate. I haven't seen a shot squeeze like this in a long time. So this what's... Uh, this is, like, sick. What's so, still 33%. $11 billion company. It's Not like, bad. You know, is is, is um, <laughs> Beyond Meat the next... Are they going to start doing cannabis, too, as well? I mean, that looks like a <laughs> cannabis chart, They're right? They're going to do something, man. Man. Uh, 
yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if there's a, I mean, just a don't move, yet, not to not move yet, but I mean, you're going back to, so 6-8, this is Saturday, yeah. you know, as in we're, we're back to, there's no news, that's, you know what oh, I mean, yeah. that's, no, that's, this which is, is remarkable. This, this is a heavy shot squeeze that, you know, and you just never know when that can stop. I mean, I haven't seen something like this in years, you know, that you can go up 30 and 40 dollars a day. Yeah. But they're going to, you know, someone's got this thing going, man. And, you know, yeah. what hap this is what ends up happening, folks, is that they, now, you and I don't know who shot the position right now. Some people absolutely do know who shot the position. They're trying to figure out how strong or weak they are. But I can't pitch up seventy dollars in two days that anyone can take that type of heat. Especially because you know? it was up before then, even right? Yeah. I mean, what do we go back here? I mean, just going back to May twenty third, you're trading at seventy eight bucks. You're up a hundred bucks from right. seventy eight. Right. From May twenty third. Right. What is that? Five, ten, twelve trading days. And you know the you know the thing that's crazy. Remember when we brought this up, that the. Uh, I thought we brought the options up. I thought it had, yeah, we did. One second. Because we had brought the option market up. Maybe I pulled it up on Thinkorswim, I believe. And it so had, um, the, the oh, yeah. options were approximately $38, the premium on it them. It was huge, yeah. Yeah, and we thought that was huge. But yeah. guess what? <laughs> Look at what's going to happen here. Yeah. That's sick. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Stay away from that, man, folks. That's the bottom line. Uh, let's see what else we got out here. You got uh, Apple up three bucks. We'll pull yep. that baby up. Uh, tablet software. Um, this is a monster. Now, uh, sales, Salesforce yeah. is taking that over. All stock deal. Was it yep. like 14, 15 Look billion? Up $43. I think it was like a 40% premium from um, where they were closing out on Friday. All time highs. And pretty remarkable that. Uh, wow. Yeah, just uh, over two years, you went from 40 to 110, and then you get bought out at 145 or something. Yeah, so this company... 168, why? Uh, yeah, helps customers analyze, visualize, share information, allowing them to share data on their blogs and website. Yeah. I wonder how they're going to market that, uh, put that together. 1.4 billion. I think it's an analytics software, so they're going to be really trying to incorporate that into their cloud-based, what they're doing. C yeah, so CRM... Well, that's not that can they can swallow that in a second. Thirteen billion in revenue versus one point four. Yeah, and an all stock deal. Which, yeah, uh, right. That's nice paper. Right, right. Nothing like it. But stock in a company like Salesforce, it's pretty good stock. Oh, big, that's big what, time. you know. As oh, I yeah. as I saw it, I was big like, time. yeah, that Salesforce yep. doesn't have to pay cash because they are uh, a strong yep. company. No doubt. And then you got uh, Raytheon and um, yeah, uh, United Technologies. It's gonna be Raytheon Technologies. For yeah. Now on. So. That's pretty wild. Uh, yeah. You know, you get United Technologies trading up uh, two dollars. Uh, RTN it's down, I think. Uh, uh, down rather, yep. two dollars. And you get Raytheon, and we have a lot of Raytheon listeners, man. They a lot of them. Um, it's because they're based up there in like Massachusetts, exactly. right? With the Waltham yep. or somewhere, and that's where the new company is going to be based as well. Is it? Yes. Oh, yep. that's big for yep. Massachusetts. They, they already talked about it. Yep. Really? Now, I don't know what that technically means. You know, it's, it's big, a good thing though. no matter yeah, what. Um, but it might just be a designation of where yeah. their main office is or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, but that's what you want. You oh, want for the, sure. You want the CEO up there to spend the you money. You got it. You got it. 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industries up 172. NASDAQ's up 111. S&P's up 21. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien have just announced a special webinar on June 19th for all subscribers to the TAS Profile Scanner. Steve and Tom will break down the trade matrix, market breadth, heat grid, as well as the three-step process you can use with the TAS Profile Scanner to identify market movers and how to capitalize on that move. For all the details and to get started with the TAS Profile Scanner today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. With a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. Go sign up today. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 169. Nasdaq's up 118. S&P's are up 22. That puts the Nasdaq up 1.5%. Uh, Dow and S&P's are up uh, 7 tenths of 1%. Let's go over to win because I saw the, the numbers on Macau, Macau China today were actually down. Uh, but wind has got a little pop up here. Sure you does. Know? Now, that's been down pretty dramatically from, you know, 151 to 116. Let's see if that's what that's running on, though. I'd well, those numbers came out this morning, I believe. Oh, okay. Wind Resort says the perfect marketing plan for the Boston Casino. Well, <laughs> all those Boston Casino people are going to be making money for Wind. Yeah, right? Yeah. Um, and here's the Macau one. So yeah. let's look at what, because uh, this is a decline. So Macau's gross gaming revenue, June 1st through 9th period, was 6.65 billion patakas, equating to an average daily rate of about 738 million down 2% year over year and down 12% compared to May. Okay. Um, VIP volume is estimated to be down mid single digits percent with lower than normalized hold. And that's they, they those VIPs are make or break for them really. Oh, yeah. um, recent heightened tension in US China trade relations however cast uncertainty over that uh, gross gaming revenue, the GGR recovery. Yeah. Yeah. So it must be something else going on with wind though to get a little pop. Um, and maybe it's uh, yeah. optimism on that uh, Boston, the wind. I can see that. What's uh, what's what's it called? The boss, I forget. It's Encore. Wind. Yeah, it's Encore Boston, right? Or Encore, there's something, because Encore's in Vegas. They've added a... They this. copied it, right. Like, it's the exact okay. same building, too. Okay. Yeah, so which is, you know, they, maybe it's Encore Boston, but it's the exact same building, the exact same print, all of the above. Sure. Let's go take a look at the uh, Dow Industrials inside the Dow, the strength versus the weakness out here. You got uh, United Technologies uh, putting 20 negative points, McDonald's 11, uh, positive points in there, Goldman 37, Boeing 23, Apple uh, 23. Let's, let's go look at Apple. So you get Apple. Okay, so Apple's up three bucks, 340. You got into the gap on Friday, which is 192. You're at 193.55. Okay, so this is going to be a good day to basically 
see if these stocks can hold the uh, at Amazon. That's what Amazon had quite a leap up, right? Well, well, it's sixty-two dollars. Yeah, that's coming up. We're coming up to the same area. We're coming up to this area, folks, of where you actually had the downdraft happening on the is that the eleventh of May or thirteenth? Thirteenth. Thirteenth of May. That's what we're coming into right now. So. Summer trading, um, you know, we'll see whether we uh, get any real juice, uh, meaning volume, in this market today. Um, if we go take a look at the SPY, because what does happen is that Fridays and Mondays, you know, you can get a real drop off in volume. You get 11 million, we did 24 million in the SPY on Friday, you're coming into, that kind of bit, right? Yeah. No, 74 million, yeah, I think. Because you're coming into 127, you're coming into uh, 144. Yeah, there's some big days in early May. Big, big days, and you swing out here. Oh, this is going to be cool because you're right at the you're know, you're over the swing right now. Let's see if we can handle it. It's uh, one, it's 289.21. There we go. And that's in the NDX 100. I think that swings higher. Yeah, it is higher on the NDX. And the NDX, you're talking about Excuse 186. Me. The lower that is 182.70. 182.95. So you're coming right into that downdraft, and we'll see how this uh, whole baby uh, operates. How about those Bruins last night? Oh, that was a great game, man. People didn't check game. it out. We had game six in, in I was going to say Toronto because basketball, in St. Louis. Um, and Boston got it done, man, forcing game seven. I believe it's Wednesday night back in Boston. And you know that this is the, this is the first time, folks, since 1981, that there's a seventh game of a championship in Boston. And the last time this okay. was done was the Celtics. I okay. heard this last night because I remember the Celtics, but when they said the date, I couldn't believe it. 19 I was only one. I don't remember. Seriously, <laughs> man. 1981. Yeah. It was the seventh game in Boston. And they Pretty won. cool. I yeah. pulled up tickets just out of curiosity last night to see, and it was about 2,400 bucks on that included fees. So it was about 2,000 bucks with 400 of fees okay. uh, on StubHub to get you in the door. Okay. Um, and, and you'd expect that. And, right, and St. Louis, not this game, the prior game. I know Bridget's a couple of her friends got them from, uh, they were 1,200. Okay. Now, that wasn't last night's game. Yeah, last night would have been some heavy that prices. That was the time before that. They had the, uh, they had the cup in the building, man. You know, that's I what you know. get out of the cup in the building. If that's you're gonna, heavy, and, man. Uh, guess what? The cup's coming back to Boston. It's going to be and in the that, building. And you know, that, 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 that uh, Ryan O'Reilly from St. Louis is really good, man. I mean, he's... No, I'm not going to talk about St. Louis and any of their plays being good. I don't no. Know. I thought you were going to say Tuka Rask is really good, man. Oh, Rask I thought you were going to say Char is really good. Rask is insane. No, we got no... This is no doubt. What are you talking about, St. Louis? No, he's, he's good, man. I'm I, 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 I kidding. Maybe because he's Irish. No, it's like, <laughs> really? You're going to talk about one player on St. Louis? What is that? No, well, he, what are you he, saying? He'd be, the, he'd be the guy that they have to watch out for, I think. Um, let's go take a look at the uh, good old dollar here. So the dollar, and this is going to be interesting to see whether this, this volume dies on the vine coming into the close here because, you know, no, not that one. DXM9. Um, okay, so we're 15,000. Going into 29. Yeah, this is not good. This is. I really want to see this volume really die in the vine, though. You know? Because what happens is if you get volume in the morning and it dies in the vine, there's a bigger probability that, yeah, you get that initial burst, they give it up. Sure, it doesn't you know. have sustained momentum. Right? right, it's almost you know it's almost like it's almost like the uh, when the Bruins went ahead you know <laughs> uh, three to nothing, then they got a goal, and then they went at four to nothing. It's sure. like oh, you can see it, the steam gets taken, oh, totally. they get taken right. out of the other team. Yep, you know. Yeah, that's that's kind of how baby shakes. Yeah, uh, platinum. Let's go take a look at platinum. So platinum, folks, has been trying to get off these this low for quite some time. Now it got. Uh, ooh, that's interesting. Oh, it not only got off its low. Yeah, that's going to lead it. Okay. So, Platinum. Go us in. Bring us with you. What's well, going on? What, 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 <laughs> what you have here, you know, all the other metals are in the negative. And this was down at okay. 796 this morning. Okay, I got you. So, it's rejecting. You know, the, the, it got off the lows last week. You know, it finally had a sign of strength. Now, yep. not a sign of strength that can bring it up to the, the, the top, you know, of the, the range. You know, that would be like the... What, the 920? But you can see it broke the trend from where it is at 867. Yes. So you, you go up with uh, 330,000 no, contracts. We back down. Well, we actually went to a higher high with uh, 27 to back down. Now we just tested that, and this is going to be light volume. So 
Platinum wants higher price. Um, that's that's going to be intriguing because yeah, that, that was that was quite a pullback there, right? Yeah. Maybe that's why you know some of the gold and silver we were still up near the highs that we had last week almost, where you know golds I think closed out Friday at 1345, so right up to that 1350. So they got a pullback, whereas platinum really had that pullback on, yeah. on one of and those days. You know. So this is if you're in this metals market, folks. Okay, this is um, a really cool setup. You know, down 12 at 13.33 with 16,000 contracts. That's that's a nice setup right now because what we did we did reject this 13.29 level at that lower low deal this morning. So stay right there, folks. We come right back. We're gonna uh, get uh, Jason from uh, Texas. We're gonna be talking tariffs, folks. Uh, Dow Dow right now at 163. Nasdaq up 109. S&P's up 20. Come right back. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 168. We get the NASDAQ at 112. S&Ps are up 21. Let's go to Texas. I'm not sure who we have. What's going on, brother? How you doing there, Tom? How's it going today? It's going good. Who am I speaking with? Uh, this is Jason, and I just called about the tariffs and oh, cool. want to make sure that you're happy this morning, that you're not going to be paying those tariffs on that pile. Oh, yeah. I'm elated. 
It's the I end mean, of the world. It's the end of the world for me. Week, Tom. I was I was worried about you, and I I made a phone call up there, and we stopped it. That's a beautiful thing. Thank you, man. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, <laughs> it, it, isn't that good? I mean, and now look at the stock market. It's it's up today, and everything's nice. We got the Dow back above the 26,000 level. We got the Nasdaq above back at the 7,800 level, I believe. And that s and is promote, uh, promoting that uh, 29. So I think we're going to be okay. That, that's a good thing, man. Totally. Um, so are you still bearish on the market? I am. You are? Yeah. yeah. This is So to me, this is coming you know, right into your downdraft from the 13th. Mm-hmm. And what do you think will be the catalyst that will drive her back down? It's just selling. It's, you know, it's, there's more selling than yeah. buying. Yeah. When, um, you, when you're going up, yeah, there's more buying than selling. When you're coming down, there's more selling than buying. Right, right. But, uh, but yeah, I'm very happy about those tariffs, that, uh, what it, the way it played out. I think uh, it'll definitely put a foothold on this uh, immigration that we're getting in here and you know, we, I think we need a merit-based system where people, if they're going to come into the country, it's on merit, not just anybody come here. You know what I'm saying? Well, I know what you're saying, but I don't agree with you. So how did you right. guys get into the country? How did your family get into the country? They came over here and they worked. No, 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 they and didn't. They, no, they didn't. They All you had to do is step on the soil. Right. Well, uh, my, my ancestry, they were farmers, um, you know, they pretty much... Uh, right, my, my point, my point my is that you just had to step on the soil. With the Rough Riders, um, with Teddy Roosevelt years ago, way before I was born. Um, you know, they, they all contributed. They spoke English. Um, they assimilated to the country. They didn't want to change our culture, you know. It's kind of like if you go to China and you try to influence Chinese culture to American culture, I don't think they like that very well. You know, that kind of thing. Matter of fact, there's, there's a huge, there's a huge, there's, you know, China don't even allow the Muslims to get foothold in their country? Well, there's a huge difference between China and the United States, man. The United States is full of mongrels. And I mean, unless you're an American Indian, you know. You don't think there's Irish culture in Boston, Jason? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, there's Irish people everywhere. I mean,. So you what's know, uh, what's what about all those country. Irish bringing their culture over to America? You and have a problem with that? Good, I mean, there's there's nothing wrong with any culture. Well, you just said that they had to assimilate, so, not bring their culture so over. Though. You just said, you Jason, 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 wanted, Jason. You just wanted. said though that you didn't want them bringing over their culture, but Irish people brought over I'm their culture, sorry. and you don't seem to have a problem with that. I, what's the difference? Say that again. I'm sorry. We kind of you said you didn't want people bringing over their culture. But then Irish people brought that. their culture I, no, over, no, no, and you no, don't no, seem to have a problem mouth. with that. No, what is the difference? I don't want people coming into the country that want to transform our culture. Now, do you want that, or are you okay with we that? We differ well, on whether people want to transform our culture and the definition of that, I assume. Well, you're trying to change the definition of what I'm trying to say. I just said we I'm disagree saying. on that definition, and it's clear. So, so what, what is, let me ask you this. Oh. The, the culture that you feel that you have in Texas right now, or wherever you live in, what is that culture? It's a lot of, it's a mixed culture, just like Florida. I lived in Florida for many years. I'm in yeah. St. Pete, North 54th Avenue. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it's a transforming culture, but the problem is if it changes the freedom of our country, and take the freedom away if the people don't try to learn the culture of America. How, how doesn't does it change how, our culture? How does the 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 culture of different folks coming in change the culture of our country? Well, you live in St. Pete. Have you ever been to Orlando? Sure. Okay. If it changes the culture of the country, I mean, do you want to have to speak Spanish or English? See, right I, there, I, you don't I, have to speak I, Spanish, I, man. I, you know I, Spanish? I can't, I can't, you know we Spanish? don't have to speak Spanish. I mean, this is, is this See, a real... I'd, I'd love to learn who how to speak. 
I'd love to learn how to speak Spanish. I can tell you that, man. You know, so I don't, I don't have go, a problem with that. Go live in Puerto Rico. Go live there instead of St. Pete. Go live in Puerto you Rico. Speak it. So do yeah, you go to, move to Puerto Rico? So how old are you? Puerto Rico. How old are you? 30, 39, 40? How old? You said you were around Tommy's age? Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I, I guess... I mean, you know what I'm saying? I think I mean, we should get you, back to you, talking you, stocks. What this I'm saying is, come here, we love you, but don't change our culture. That's all. I mean, that's why Trump got elected, and not to mention that the, the way the jobs have been going overseas... And both parties really contribute to that. So what is it though? Don't change our culture to be a country of immigrants? Like, what is that? Is that what you're <laughs> I saying? I mean, I, seriously, not to be curt, but like, come on, man. What do you expect for a response when that's your question? We should move on to stocks. This is why people are tuning in. But don't change our culture to a country of immigrants. I mean, I say that is the culture, and um, it is. So I never said anything about immigrants. As far what? As How does that well, come trying, on? That, I don't know what you guys talked about last culture. week, but that's not an adult statement, right? No kidding. No doubt we are a country of immigrants. But what I'm saying is, what, how was America founded? To are say you, you didn't talk like about immigrants. Are you founded as a country, or is it outdated? Do you believe in the fact that we're, it's outdated, the Constitution's outdated? Do you believe that way? I mean, I'm just trying no, to get No, what are we talking about? This is about great. That. Listen, I, I don't. You know, you should get look at the stat, okay, about who is actually going in the service for our country versus who's running, like your little trumpet guy, like uh, the 4 f Draft Dodger with his sprained, freaking butt, uh, bone spurring. <laughs> are you kidding me? Well, what are you laughing about, man? Okay, what are you laughing about? Okay, you, you don't want to talk yeah. the Constitution? You want to talk, like, real? Do you want to talk about how, how many kids died in Vietnam and how many ki no. kids got drafted in Vietnam hey, and that, he got and out? That was the Democrat war, by the way, the Vietnam War. This wasn't isn't a Republican constructive war. conversation. <laughs> was, no, what, what, did you just, what did you just say? It was a democratic war, he said. That was a democratic well, war. They were, it was they were the a democratic ones running the country at that time. I'm sorry, what? You know? The Democrat Party was running the country during that period. During oh, the that's what it was. Okay. Okay, okay brother. Constructive you have a great well, one to say. Control of both Let's go. Moving yeah. on. Okay. Moving on. Okay. Have a good one, man. I don't know. Uh, I know you talked it's, to that gentleman it's, last it's, week. It's, yeah. it's all right. Let's go to uh, John in Philly. John, what's going on, brother? Tommy, buddy. <laughs> You're next up, John. You, yeah. you enjoy that hot seat? <laughs> Tom, Tom, yeah. Tom uh, Obi-Wan, I'd like your eyes, please, on the oil contract. Okay, uh, let's take a I look. Think, I think I heard you mention last week that... Yeah, I'm looking for 44. Stay right there. 877-927-6648. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now trading up 156. NASDAQ up 110. S&P's up 20. Come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you'd like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. 
Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the Biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 164. Nasdaq's up 113. S&Ps are up 21. We're talking with our man John from Philly, and we're going to be talking oil. So, you know, we had oil hit that uh, 54, 84, right? You know, we're back a bit. Yeah, my, my take, John, is that this thing wants to run into 44 bucks. Okay, gotcha. So you do not view the 50-60 low last week as a potential bottom? No. No. Let you me get... ask you a separate question. You're very good, Tommy, on uh, your 10-minute uh, bar charts, price, and volume, just based upon 50-60 up to 54-80. Can you just tell me, given that 10-minute bar chart, where first where where support is as you see it just on that small move please thank you you mean a small move from this morning no from 50 from, from the 50 dollar low a few days ago just right here no right, right here from, exactly from this low to yeah. the high where could you see exactly support? yes okay so it'd be right in here like at uh 52.91 so the low of friday yeah somewhere in there yeah you know i mean it, it, you know this move was so fast when like we had huge moves in the currency market, in the bond market, and it's just taking a break. In the gold market, to me, this is like building cars. It'll mess around here for a bit. Do you know what I mean? Because, right. you know, we went down so fast. I mean, my God, you, you know, you, you look back, uh, what is that, only a month ago, you're at 66 bucks. So, you know, you can build a little cause. We got a rejection of price today, and you're going to have light yes, volume. You, do. you know, so, like, you get more sideways movement uh, in order to go after that uh, swing low of 44.20. Great. Thanks a bunch. I appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks for the call, John. Let's go to uh, Max in Houston. He wants to buy some meat. Maybe Real he wants meat. to sell some meat. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not. Hey, good morning, guys. I'm, I'm thinking about, uh, I'm looking at the January 35 put some yeah. Beyond Meat. Sell some. Is that too far-fetched? Um, yeah, it, it is. Looks like it's Let's going bring him up. Now, and I think it, th this will not last the way it is. So what'd you so, say, January? January 35s he's looking at. Why don't we bring think of Yeah, I'll pop yeah. it up two seconds. So what we'll see here, I, I see what you're doing, man. It's pretty cool going out that far. So what he's trying to do, folks, is this, is that you never know when like something like this stops on the way up because this is exponential in a, like a huge way. And, you know, bottom line, six months away is a long time. Now, now, say that one again, Max. You were looking at the 135 put. Was that correct? No, no, no. The, the 35. 35 put. Yeah. Uh, are there more strikes because on it's, it? It's about a buck 40. Okay. It's a buck 40, and you know, it's like 10 percent or less of the of the, there it the is. value of the share. Wait, what's so, it? So the 35. I, I, right there, right at the right top. That's the 35 puts. That's 35 puts right there. This is a strike yes. price. Yes. So. But it's like okay, but it's trading at like a dollar. 
right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. dollar right. dollar forty somewhere around it's, there. It, the last one was a dollar forty. Right now, it's a dollar seventy by a dollar seventy. Uh, well, that's that'll okay. change. So you um, think it's going under thirty-five bucks by the basically this year by Max? January, right? Well, I, I think it's going to crash because I think it's, it's it's moving up too fast, okay. too quick, and it's almost doing this parabola. You know, it's going straight up. I mean, and and yeah, no, uh, I agree with that sentiment. I do. Right. Now, have you ever bought something so far out of the money? Yes, I normally do. Okay. I normally like the the, you know, and I don't. I, it's just like a spec. Uh, yeah. Okay. No, no, I understand what you're saying. The reason I'm asking is that even if this came down like fifty dollars, that if we pull that up, it would tell us how much that would move. That that might not yeah, move at all, the, you know. Meaning. That, I'm looking at making the delta. I don't necessarily think it's going to hit that. Yeah. No. Price, right. Okay. And that's I, what I want to get. Whether right, you know. Right. So and I mean, it has a. A bid offer by five ticks, so it's got a side on each side. Quick, let's see. Sure, I didn't know this how. Be... Okay, so let me see something. So we got. Yeah, it's... I'd have to do. That's got to move a long way. I, you know, listen, it's. Yes. I can't. I can't. I can't see it. You know, I wish I could. <laughs> I definitely can't see it going to that. But the the reality is, is the real question is going to be as if you're more tuned to, like how far, how far do you think that has to move for that option to move at all? Like if it's down fifty dollars, you think your thirty five will move? Well, probably twenty or thirty bucks would be enough to move enough for me to get out. And I'm just trying like to what, make like what twenty cents, you mean? You know, like for. Yeah, just just to make a little bit of a profit on that on that on that move down I see. because okay. then you get yeah. you know the the implied volatility goes up yeah. and then you know you you make something out of it. I don't know exactly, but I, I don't see the stock being anywhere you know anywhere near the price it is right now. I would see it worth you know maybe sixty or eighty bucks at the most. I mean, so you can see that you know? these jumped forty cents today, right? So stock is up like forty bucks. Right. Um, yeah. So you know, it definitely can move. It might just be a little bit better way, but if that's that's the way you used to trade, and as in um, yeah. that's where you just want to look well, at that delta and all that stuff. So I just don't have thinkorswim set up. You can just right, go to the settings. There is a delta. You can, you can show all the tell columns. You. Exactly. So right. you just you know you're gonna you know you look at all those. You you make your decision. I mean, I definitely agree that you could see a pullback. <laughs> so I like the methodology yeah. in terms of the idea of you know looking for a pullback on this company. Um, but just keep it in mind, right? So it's up 40 cents, just a ballpark. It's up 40 cents, and it just went from 130 to 170. So you know, yeah. even if it pulls back 30 or 40 dollars right away, you're still only going to get 30 or 40 cents. There's a five to 10 cent bid offer yeah. spread in there, just thrown around. And, you know, and you're going you to make consider. sure that that last trade wasn't on the offer of a spread that was 30 or 40 cents too. Yeah, and I think the last was yeah. at 170. It's ticking at yeah. 160 by 165. So pretty, yeah. pretty close. Yeah. Um, well, 160 by 65, and now they're putting the last at 65 cents, and it's up 35 cents. Yeah. So they're buying them. So it I was, mean, it's active. It was right. Friday. It was at 130. It goes up 33 dollars, 33 cents. So you're almost getting a cent a, a dollar, just ballpark. Yeah. You know. Um, so we'll see. Yeah. Man, this stock though, we're going to be talking about this a lot. And I just see uh, it's interesting that you know people on social media. I've seen friends sharing that they're buying it at a supermarket. So it's more than just investors that uh, they've gotten quite a, a, a tailwind. Um, I'm not sure they have an 11 billion dollar tailwind in terms of their market cap right yeah. now, though. <laughs> yeah, I'd say yeah, it's, I, I guess the now the uh, Tyson they didn't they, they're coming out with their uh, food. The, They're going to they have a competitor. Yet, right? I don't believe so. Yeah. Right. Right. You know, they were an investor in Beyond. They sold right. their stake right before it went public. That was a mistake. Um, even if they were going to release their own, they probably should have <laughs> held uh, held on for the ride a bit. But seriously, because yeah. so Tyson has a, a market cap of uh, thirty billion. Thirty billion. Yeah. And Beyond's at eleven, just like that. That's where things get skewed, yeah. right? Yeah. Like as in, you're telling me that Tyson can't come out with a similar and still sell. You know what do they do? Can we? What's their revenue? Uh, Two hundred and ten million. Is that what you just pulled up? Okay. Oh, this is beyond. I'm sorry, yeah. Tyson. Uh, what's uh, T Y S N? Uh, what is it? Uh, T Y N. I think. T Y N. Thank you. Because it's going to be staggering when you look at. Oh, it is. Oh, what did I do? Uh, nope, not T Y N. T Y S. S. Maybe. Let me see. There you go. T Y S N. Okay. T uh, T S N. T S N. Yeah. Yep. He's got it. All right. We'll pull it up. Let's see what their revenue. 
Yeah, look at that. $43 billion a year they take in. Um, and they're going to have a competitor. So mm. I like the idea of looking for some value to them downside. Just uh, see how that out-of-the-money put goes. Cooking, brother. Thanks for the call, Max. All right. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Basil Chapman has a special subscriber webinar coming up Wednesday, June 12th at 5 p.m. called The Tide. In this webinar, Basil will be demonstrating techniques that can help one identify whether the tide is coming in or going out. That is, whether a trend is bullish or bearish in a variety of time frames. And Basil will be speaking specifically to indices, currencies, commodities, interest rates, and key stocks. The technical tools that Basil will be discussing are available on almost all software packages that will be shown in historical context as well as live for current market setups. Identifying the key trend allows one to trade with the tide rather than against it. Subscribers also gain immediate access to three archived workshops so you can get started right away when you sign up. For all the details on the opening call and Basil's upcoming subscriber webinar, The Tide, this coming Wednesday, visit the front page page of tfnn.com and sign up today this segment is brought to you by think or swim for more information just click the think or swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 177. Nasdaq's up 129. S&Ps are up 23. And our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, is going to be uh, coming up. Uh, of course, he's going to be coming up today at noon. Uh, he's also going to be coming up this Wednesday night with a great webinar for all his subscribers. That's right, man. We're almost 48 hours. So 5 p.m. Wednesday, right after your show, he'll be in there for 90 minutes with subscribers to the opening call doing a workshop. He is called The Tide. I wonder where the tide of the market's going to be by Wednesday, man. We'll never yeah. know. Two days. <laughs> Uh, so in the webinar, Basil's going to be demonstrating techniques that can help one identify whether the tide is coming in or going out. That is, whether the trend is bullish or bearish, a variety of time frames. He's going to talk about indices, currencies, commodities, interest rates, key stocks. He's going to be talking about tools that are on almost all software packages that you can use. And uh, he's going to be talking about everything, man, in terms of what that market is doing. You also gain access to three archive workshops he's got in there immediately. Anything goes, the stock market's key phase, what's next for the market, and the Chapman Wave tools that helped identify 
Spotify, the market's last top and what to expect as we go into the new year. So three great workshops immediately. You got this one coming on Wednesday, and of course you get the opening call, man. Basil putting out he had an update Saturday, he had an update Sunday, he's got an update this morning it's cool. for subscribers. All that education. You know, yeah, Definitely. subscribe for 30 days, folks. It's a money back guarantee. You come to a great workshop, you get the other three workshops that Basil did. Yeah. Um, you know. I'll be in there it's watching. A, it's a great value. for it. Yeah. We'll see what and happens. guess what? You got a traders market here, cool. man. I mean, we get we get volatility, you know. Yeah. Uh, I think Basil's going to have to be tweaking that workshop right oh, up until the last minute on Wednesday this, in this. terms of because he's going to be going over said historical context and right. then what's what's going on right now and uh, it'll be a uh, a constant study up until Wednesday in terms of what is going right now. It certainly will. And stay right there, folks. Uh, you know, we, we talk about options, okay? You get the option show coming up next. Uh, then we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. <laughs> Look at him, folks.